Governor Gavin Newsom is also working to trace the coronavirus using technology. And CBS reporter Ian Lee looks at the same effort underway right now in the UK. Face masks and social distancing have been the only weapons in the fight against the coronavirus. But Britain's National Health Service says more ammunition will soon be at people's fingertips. A new app to trace those who've come in contact with COVID-19. The app will then send an alert anonymously to other app users that you've been in significant contact with over the past few days, even before you had symptoms. Essentially, the app tracks where you go and remembers who you were close to by communicating through Bluetooth with other phones. If someone contracts the virus, the app alerts you if you are near them. Oxford University says it's a 21st century answer to stop the spread of the virus. So you can reach uh, people and provide advice on quarantining and isolation and social distancing. And you can do that quick enough before they transmit to other people. Singapore has already rolled out a similar app to boost efforts to trace cases. But to be effective, widespread testing is needed. I think it's a good idea because obviously the more contact testing that we do and the more we know exactly where the hotspots are, the better we can sort of treat it from everything the scientists say. The app is voluntary, but critics are still worried about privacy. Others say the benefits should outweigh the concern. So they're tracking you all the time anyway, so what difference does it make? It might as well be for a good reason. If the app is effective, health experts predict life could start to return to normal. Ian Lee, CBS News, London. Experts in the UK hope to roll out their app in the coming weeks.